there's a new player in content development. Hey, what's up? This is your boy, Big Doula, here at the Lord Kings. And today I'm talking about something that a lot of people may not know. Audible, the audio book company, has been producing audio versions of many of your favorite science fiction and fantasy books. You, you probably already know this. You probably heard of it. If you didn't, um, I have a link below uh, to sign up for Audible. It's a part of Amazon. But the, the thing that a lot of people may not know is that Audible is now producing original content. That means no book, no movie. For me, Audible has done wonders for my life in general. Uh, I used to take a two hour commute uh, full time for the day, an hour there, an hour back from work. And I was tired of listening to the radio and I was tired of hearing the same songs and tired of talk radio, tired of all this other stuff. So I started getting, I got Audible, uh, downloaded it onto my phone, Bluetoothed it into my car, and then listened to the books. I was killing one to two books a week. Uh, and I've been doing that now for about five years. So there's been years where I've read 90 books uh, in a year. And that's 70 new, 20 retreads. Because there's some great books out there I like to listen to at least once a year uh, from a business perspective uh, that are fantastic, motivational, and just get your head in the right space. One of the first books is from the Alien franchise. And the name of the book is Alien Out of the Shadows, written by Tim Lebon. Now, if you know that name, it's because he's written a lot of books for the Star Wars franchise. Fantastic talent they brought on. Fantastic voice acting. Um, and for those that don't know about Audible and kind of the level of voice acting that's starting to come out now, it's, it's very substantial. It's very good. They have uh, a nice base of voice actors now in the New Jersey area, and they're doing a fantastic job for what they're doing. And I feel like this brand is taking off. This is very important for us that, that we support this so that we get more, right? The community loves to support it. I know there's some traditionalists out there that say they have to read the book. They have to do it that way. I understand. <clears throat> you do what makes you comfortable. But... If you are traveling, if you do commute, if you do do these things and you want to enjoy your commute a little bit more, then then go on and sign up for Audible. Right now, if you have Prime membership, you get the first three months for free. Uh, I'll put a link to the to the to this book. So check it out for free. If you have Prime membership already for free, check it out. See if you like it or if you don't like it. Um, another one I would recommend would be War War Z. That one on Audible is fantastic. They have name brand actors all over the place doing the voices for that. Uh, Game of Thrones, same thing. They, they went back and, and uh, redid all the voices and the voice acting. Even the Star Wars series, uh, <clears throat> all of them are fantastic. Uh, the Star Wars in, in general, too, they have the sounds of the lightsabers, they have the laser battles, and the music, John Williams, they have everything. It's, it is Star Wars. So... For those of you out there that want to look for a new platform um, and that want to get maybe even get into science fiction and fantasy a little bit more on commute in your car and in these other places where you don't have the chance to do this, do these sorts of things. This is your boy Big Doula here from the Lord King signing off. Subscribe to the channel. Big things coming next week. Change a little bit of change of format. It's going to be big. So talk to you later. Peace. Star Wars going through reshoots. What does that mean? So this week it's been reported that Star Wars Rogue One will be under reshoot. The movie Star Wars Rogue One will be coming out in December. The main reason for having the reshoots, they say, is to include uh, the young 